sorry for the uh, the scene change. <laughs> it was just, it was getting hot outside and there were bugs and I was getting distracted. So now I'm in my room. Okay, onward with the questions. This one comes from my mom. She says, love your awkwardness. Thank you, mom. You gotta love moms. What do you do for fun in your hometown? What do I like to do for fun? Uh, I like to go to local concerts with my friends. I like to go to the fairs. I like to go to the parks. I'm, I'm naming all these things, but I don't actually do these things. Uh, these are things that I rarely do, but I like to do. Um, basically, the only thing to do in our hometown is uh, maybe go to a park or maybe see a movie or maybe go bowling. There, there's not too much to do. Stacy said, maybe talk about your likes and dislikes about music, movies, TV shows, etc. Well, with music, I actually, I don't like country music and I don't like, I always say there's pop and then there's stupid pop. I like pop, but I don't like stupid pop, which is a lot of stuff you hear on uh, radio stations where it's like, it's very repetitive and there's really hardly any depth to the song. I don't like that kind of music because it doesn't seem genuine or real. I like real music that, you know, makes you feel something. As for TV shows, I'm not a big TV person. I mainly watch YouTube, but I do like watching The Walking Dead. Um, I like watching America's Got Talent and uh, Family Guy, and that's about it. And I also like Stranger Things on Netflix, but it's not really a... I guess it's kind of a TV show, but yeah. Uh, first time I went on stage with One Republic was 2015. Um, I got a hug on stage uh, from Ryan, and that shirt that you see right there, that's a shirt folded up that hasn't been washed. That is the shirt I wore on stage when I got a hug from Ryan and he was very sweaty. It was an awesome moment. So yeah, that hasn't been washed. And that guitar right there has One Republic's autograph. They're, all their signatures are on it. My mom actually won that off of a retweet contest from Microsoft in 2015, like shortly after I went on stage with them. 2015 was a great year. So here, here is a closer look at the guitar, the autographs. I don't let people touch it because I don't want I don't want anything messed up. <laughs> and there's the shirt. Guitar and the shirt. But here is Eddie Fisher's drumstick. I got that in 2013, first time I saw him live. It's me, my mom, some stuff. Next question comes from Mela underscore S. If you could travel in time, where slash what year would you travel to and why? Well, despite 2015, um, me going on stage with Lone Republic and 2017 performing with them, I would of course uh, <laughs> love to relive those days, but I'd probably go back to the year 2011, Christmas Day because that was the last Christmas that I got to spend with my brother and I would definitely go back to that day and relive that. I feel like I should elaborate a little more on uh, my One Republic experience. 2013 is the first time I ever saw One Republic live. I traveled to Columbus, Ohio to see them live for the first time. It was a general admission event. It was just me and my mom going. And we somehow managed to get front row. I, I still don't know how that happened, but it somehow happened. And at the end of the concert, this girl next to me had caught Eddie's drumstick. And she uh, she just gave it to me. And I was just shocked that she would do something like that. Like, who does that? And it was just an amazing moment. And that's how I have his drumstick. In 2014, I got to meet them for the first time through a radio contest. In 2015, I had a little piece of paper asking if I could get a hug from Ryan. And, uh, he eventually saw it. And I, I freaked out just when he was like, when he noticed me, because... That was just crazy that he had noticed me. 
and then he uh, motioned me for me to come up and I thought he was going to jump down you know and give me a hug over the barricade and uh, nope but I went on stage with him I wasn't expecting that next thing I know I'm being lifted over this barricade and put on stage with them while they were performing feel again it was crazy crazy my mind was totally blown I was like I couldn't process what was going on because <laughs> this was totally unexpected it's like like that's that kind of stuff just doesn't happen and it really doesn't happen to me it was uh, at the time the best moment of my entire life and it's still one of the best moments of my entire life I, I said I'm really sweaty are you okay well then I'm sorry in 2016, <clears throat> I saw Warner Public at the Vic in Chicago. I was supposed to meet them actually, but uh, the meet thing was canceled because of an illness, which was, I'm all right with because uh, I'd rather them cancel that than cancel the show. In 2017, I got to perform with Warner Public, which, like, what? I'm I'm still like mind blown. Her dream was to play. Bells, Glockenspiel, on this next song on stage with us, Caitlin Jones, round of applause everybody. So crazy! Performing with One Republic on the Glockenspiel. I got to play Drew's Glockenspiel. It's just so surreal to me. It's, it, it doesn't feel real. It's something like that is so, it's just so crazy that it's hard to comprehend that it actually happened. Uh, yeah, Drew, all the guys were super nice, except Ryan wasn't at the sound check, so I didn't get to sound check with vocals, it was just an instrumental sound check, and I didn't see him. The only time I saw him was during the actual performance. I didn't speak with Zach or Brian. The only people I spoke with were Brent, Drew, and Eddie, and they were all super nice. Their crew was super nice. It was just... Uh, an amazing experience. I got to wear the in-ear monitors and everything which was neat because I always wondered how those worked. It turns out there's like a, a metronome inside of that so <laughs> you're always like on time and stuff. Keeps you on track. You can hear everything super clear. There's no echo or anything which is nice. So yeah that was uh, an insane experience. You know I was extremely nervous that entire weekend to do something like that. I, I didn't even said I got sick on that day, but when it actually came to the performance and I walked out onto the stage, I was not nervous at all. It was so weird. Just like me, the super shy introverted person in front of thousands of people, I wasn't nervous at all in that moment. I just wanted to have fun and that's what I did. I had the time of my life and uh, I looked out at the crowd. I could only see the lower pavilion. I couldn't even see the lawn or hardly the upper pavilion. Um, but it was just so much fun. I really took it in and experienced everything. It was definitely the best time of my entire life. And I can't thank One Republic enough for letting me join them. It was truly incredible. <laughs> I don't know how anything can up that, but that's what I said about 2015. <laughs> like, how can it get any better than me going on stage with them and hugging Ryan? Oh, well, maybe me performing with them, I don't know. Which happened. It's crazy. Crazy that it happened. Thank you guys. Thank you again for sending me questions and uh, all your feedback on my first vlog. It really means a lot. I was surprised with all the feedback I got. You guys are incredible, really. Really incredible. And thank you. Thank you for being such kind and amazingly awesome people. Thank you. Peace.